Hey, hey, what's up guys? It's me, Sergeant Snazzy, here again with a new video. And you're probably thinking, Snazzy, you're doing a Let's Play. Wow, that's like been months since you did a Let's Play. Well, guess what, buddy boy? I'm doing some classic gaming today. We're going to be playing uh, some old games from the PS1 era. Today we're going to be playing some Gran Turismo. You're probably thinking, Snazzy, why are you using actual hardware? Why don't you use a uh, emulator instead? Well, that's a good question. Um, for some reason, PC PS PS X does not like does not get along well with Bandicam. So until then, I find a more better solution, or until I buy or I could buy a new better capture card too. This is going to be what I'll be using. And plus, I mean. It's not like PS1 games can look any better than what it does on the PS2, you know. I will actually use emulator, like I said, but we'll see. So, first, I just need to do something to, um, um, sync up the audio. Ding, 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 Okay, that should be good enough. Alright, I'm putting the disc in now. So, um... You, some of you might have saw the, I guess you call it a meme, the meme I did the other day with the Honda Accord. So what I actually did was, I actually already had a Honda Accord in my garage in the game. I just sold it and then we bought it. But because I had probably already upgraded it, it already had some of the car pre-upgraded, I guess. So, that's cool, I guess. Um, so today I'm going to try to obtain the, I'm going to be doing just a couple races and then probably call it a day. So, you know. Um, so actually the funny thing was I actually had to try recording something before and I forgot to hit record on the capture card. I, I recorded all the audio in Sony Vegas, but I didn't record any video. So, um, yeah. That was embarrassing. I'm waiting for something to download right now, so I figured I'd just do a little video while I'm waiting for it to download. It's like super big, I guess, so play some simulation mode. Alright, so. Um, so I actually, so I had bought this, a, uh, Sylvia, one in eight, eight, uh, yeah, Sylvia S13. Anyway, so, so this is the car that I, I was trying to get this car, but in yellow from the lightweight championship. I'm going to try that race one more time. I'm going to try the, uh, lightweight challenge one more time. So I'm going to get my Integra and we're going to, we're going to. We're gonna race, baby. Special event. Lightweight. Here we go. I could have. I know. I honestly wanted to use my uh, CRX. It's funny. Um, in the Japanese version, they have the SIR CRX, but not the yet. But only. But they only have the SI in. Um, in uh. This the, the, the U.S. version. Now I know you're gonna probably hear this, but I use automatic. Okay, um, it's like stand you buy a manual transmission Civic, but you're driving automatic in the game. Re triggered. Well, I don't know. I just I tried driving a manual, and the thing is, like, if it wasn't for the fact that the car is rubber banded, maybe I wouldn't be so. Like, I don't know. It's I, I can't focus on two things at one. I can't focus on changing gears and maintain control of the car because in this game you don't have the option to install a limited shift differential so basically it, it's all about skill like my friend was like why did you spin out so much don't you have an LSD install I was like no and it's like what do you mean like you put one on then dude like dude you don't have any it's like what do you mean so I showed him every single like option you could get for your car in the tuning shop and there is no options for LSDs and um in GT1. And he's like, that's stupid. How the heck do you drive it? He's like, it's all about skill, man. Like, it's all about skill, fast reflexes, and wits. Like, it's crazy. Like, I thought, I mean, sometimes this game can get pretty, it's, it's hard as Initial D sometimes. Like, Initial D special stage, like, I cannot play that game for more than five minutes because I get so, like, it, it's like, it, I get so excited. Not, not excited, but I guess nervous. Like when I did my my last video in a game where I beat um, Nakazato in Itsuki's car, 
it took me like seven tries to get it right. I just edited it, it made it look like it was one, one, a one-time thing. Now, of course, I always use automatic in this video because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a peasant. I mostly do it now for, for just because it's ironic, you know. It'd be kind of, I mean, I heard that uh, there's this arcade down by the mall now, I guess, and they got like Japanese arcade games, and I heard they got initial D down there too, but I heard like the prices were insane though. I mean, not for the game, I think for the food, but but maybe I'll go try it out, you know. But my friend was like, man, it's not going to last more than a couple months probably. He's like, hey man, don't knock it until you try it. Now, the reason why I'm able to play initially these puzzles on my PS2 is because I have Dream Big Boot installed on the hard drive. So I, ha I actually downloaded the ROM or the ISO to my hard drive and I play off the hard drive. And apparently playing a an ISO off your hard drive is not reasonably hot, so... I'm probably pretty sure I could play it on my PS3, which is the first generation. And the first and PS3s are not region locked or anything, so... I could just buy the actual game and then play it probably, but nah, that was too easy. Alright, next, let's see, I got a new record, woo! So, as for my Civic right now, like my dad was talking to me the other day, and he thinks that Maybe I might have to cut my losses and sell it because we had a whole plan worked out where I would just spend a space at the Navy Yard where he works and leave it there and then work on it at the garage over there. But it sounds like to me like he wants to try to find a better job someplace else. I mean, obviously he's still in a in a, in the ship in the Navy Yard, but like a different Navy Yard, like not in New England, like in a different state. And if that's the case, then, uh, but we'll see what happens, and, uh, I mean, I really don't want to have to sell it, like, I, 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 under, I gotta admit, looking back, I probably should have thought a little more, put more thought into it than before, before buying it, um, looked it a little bit closer before buying it, but, you know, if I have it, so I guess, you know, you kind of just got to roll the punches. But, hey man, if I ever if I get rid of the Civic, I still have Grand Turismo. At least in Grand Turismo, I don't have to worry about money or financial problems. I just do a couple races and bada bing, bada boom. I'm not gonna win this one, am I? Oh, flat time was a little high. Nope, I still got first place. Honestly, I don't feel. I feel like it's not really no point to doing a pull, doing a qualifier. I mean, if your car is fast enough, it'll just pass by all all the people in front of you. But I figure, why not? So. But yeah, I'm gonna try to do the uh, rear wheel drive um, challenge. I might buy a Supra or a. Uh, Maybe I'll try to upgrade that S13, maybe. S13's a pretty good color. I mean, it kind of sucks, though, that we got screwed over with the S13, the S chassis in America. All they got was a 140 horsepower KA engine, and Japanese yeah, got the SW, SR, SR, SR20? Yeah. Looking back, I kind of wish I had bought a Civic sedan instead. I noticed the sedans are more common. But now granted, most of the parts for both cars are pretty common. I think, and that's why I bought a Civic, because I figure it's a good first project car, because there's you know, pretty much an abundance of parts, either online or in a junkyard. But I, should, I wish I got the sedan because it has a slightly powerful motor. It's still a D-series, sure, but it technically, I think it has, I think it's V-Tech, it's not the true V-Tech, like, the Type R, or any JDM Civic, I think it's like the economy V-Tech, but, um, you know, it's still got the, it's still got the V-Tech in it, but like I said, 
not really the same. But it's got 27, it's got like 20 more horsepower than, I mean, to be fair, that car is so old. I wouldn't be surprised if you're only making like 98 horsepower to be honest. I mean, probably only is. And you don't know, man. But I was saving up for a new exhaust, but I still have to fix the exhaust on my truck first. I want to fix the exhaust on my truck first, and then I'm gonna keep saving up some money. I'm gonna keep saving money, and if I end up having to sell it, then maybe I'll put the money towards something else, like. I don't know, buying a car that actually works. Or not at all. I don't know. But part of me wanted to buy, I saw a, at the time I was looking for a, that car, I saw a early 2000s Civic Si. And back then, that was generally the highest level Civic we got in the States. Which came with 160? Was it 160? 160 horsepower. Uh, IV tech engine. I don't remember what the engine code was. I think it was a D17. I don't know. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I guess maybe I can talk to some people. On, and I, I'm part of this Facebook group on that's all about light like, cars and stuff. Maybe I could talk to some people with uh, about renting out a space or something. Then we'll see. Enough about that. Let's get back to racing. So, um, my plan for Gran Turismo 1 is basically to get any every car that I want in this game and like fully max it out. That's what's basically on my plan GT4 too. And eventually, when I get all the cars I want, I'll like do a little showcase video, kind of like you know showing off all the cars. Now the thing is, in GT1, you can only have a hundred cars per memory card, or per game save, I guess you could say. Um, and my plan is that, like, once I get, once I reach the limit, and I like copy the save to a different card, sell all the cars, use the money from that to buy even more cars, you know. Um, so you know. And then I want to like, cause see, I noticed there's not a lot of, there's not really any videos showcasing all the cars and their racing modifications on YouTube. And I would love to do something like that for my channel since it's all about cars and how apparently. It's crazy, you know. I used to do stuff about Let's Plays and commentary videos and now I do videos with, oh, I'm not going to do it. But it's not on the lap time. I'm going to probably get in like third place in the pull in the, in the lap time. Let's see what it says. Let's see. Oh, oh, fifth. Oof. Oof, and that's, that's a big oof. Well. I, I got a pretty powerful car, so I can probably pass him. I still haven't got the Miata yet, though. I will keep trying if, I, if it takes like me 20 years to get that Miata with the tan top. Gotta be with the tan top. None of this same color top stuff. It's funny, I was watching, I, I subscribed to this guy, I forget his name, it's like Hammer Studios or whatever. He was like, he was like asking, he's like, hey, like, he was kind of asking, like, what is your, how did you get into cars, basically? And he got into cars, I guess, because his dad played games or whatever, or he was, like, into cars before or something like that. And I'll be honest, um, I used to be into racing, but more into, like, stuff like Burnout and uh, Need for Speed as a kid. I loved crashing cars, like, just, I don't know why, just, just. I remember, like, I used to watch videos of, of Driver 3 and thought it was the coolest game ever. And come to find out as an adult, it's like one of the worst games of the series. <laughs> I mean, it's my guilty pleasure, dude. I would still play Driver 3, even though despite all the bugs and the glitches and the controversy and all that stuff, I would still play it, like, hands down. And I just... There we go. I, I, still, I, I still got... Okay. Ooh. But anyway. Um... But I remember, like, at the time, I had gone into Initial D um, through, a, I forget even know how I got into Initial D, actually. I remember, like, I found out about it many years ago by looking up the famous song running in the 90s, and I thought, you know. Well, anyway, at the time, I got into Initial D, and I never had a console game. I never had an Xbox, never had a PS2. 
Uh, never had. Ooh. Oh god. Oh god. Don't pass me. Don't pass me. Come on. Oh jeez. Oh, it's it's blue Shingo. Anyway, I never had a console as a kid, and as an adult, I really wanted to get a PS2. I, I kind of, I guess, I kind of really wanted to relive the childhood I never had, so to speak, kind of thing. You know, I'd be like, yeah, I want, I want me an Xbox or PlayStation. So I, I picked up this PS2 I have right now for like 20 bucks, and I was so I, I bought it actually at an anime convention, believe it or not. Um, my real goal, I really want to get just to play the PS2 exclusives for Grand Theft Auto, which is LCS and BCS, which I have. I don't actually play them, actually, because uh, eventually my hope is to get a more powerful computer that will run them, because they run like crap on the PS2. Um, hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back here. I'll just, oh Jesus, no, 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 get back here. Dang it, Shingo, please, no, Shingo, please come back. Anyway, so I never, I, I so I, w I went to Bull Moose, that's like our local version of GameStop, but they actually don't rip you off. They sell like music, books, games, movies, everything. Um, I still won. Heck you, I still won. Anyway, so, um... I was looking for some games, and my friend was like, yo, pick this up. He showed me a copy of Grand Turismo 4, and I was like, you know what? Okay, I'll pick that up. So I picked up Grand Turismo 4, um, and, of course, being the initial D fanboy I was, and still with today, I immediately bought the um, Toyota Corolla. And he was like, no, dude, that car sucks. And so, so I remember I went to go hang out with my friend that day, and he had he only had a couple cars in the game, because he rarely plays it, but... He had this one car, it was like a Cadillac CN or something. It's like over a thousand horsepower. And none of my, at the time, I had like over a hundred cars. I was like grinding for all these different cars and stuff. And so my goal was basically to get all the cars I ever wanted in the game and to get the most powerful cars to be his cars. My most powerful car right now in the game is the uh, Toyota 88C race car. It's over like, I think, like a uh, 1,100 horsepower. It is fast as heck. Like, god dang. But, um, you know, I started getting more into the Grand Turismo series, and I decided to pick up the other ones, like GT3, GT1, GT2. I cannot, I could not get GT5, and then eventually, yeah, sorry, and then eventually, I got a PS3. I decided to buy, I decided to, so I got a PS3 from my friend, um, he gave me his old one, I guess. Oh, is this, is this the tan top one? Dang it! God dang it! Heck you. But anyway, I got I got a PS2 my friend of mine. It turns out it was like one of the original fat piano black PS2 PS3 is from like launch basically. And the original PS3 fat was designed to play PS2 and PS1 games. And I think they were not region locked too, so you could play them like any game on them from like any region. But they stopped making them because they cost eight hundred dollars at the time when they came out. I'm lucky, though I heard the older ones tend to burn out, so I'm kind of like a little skeptical there, but I ended up getting a PS3, I got Grand Turismo 6 for it, and, and I haven't played much of that really, I'm still playing through these ones, kind of like, I, I kind of want to go through each, I kind of like, I'll play like GT2 one day, GT1 one day, I'm just gave up on GT3 I guess, but I don't really like GT3 that much because there's not a lot of cars in it, but the graphics are pretty good for 2001. Um, so, and then I got an Xbox 360 because I really wanted to play. I really wanted to get Halo 3 because I remember me and my uncle used to play Halo 2 and Halo 3 together. I actually had bought an Xbox original a long before that, but I sold it. But I kept the games 
and I wanted to get 360 because it was not compatible with the Xbox One, Xbox Original games. I was going to hold off on getting the One because the Xbox One does not have a lot of compatibility with older Xbox Original games, so I held off on it. Eventually, I might get an X-Bone or a PS4. I don't know. The thing is, though, I have, like, no more slots on my TV, so I have to unplug one and plug in the other, so... Um... Alright, I guess I will sell one of my Civics. I got, like, four or three of them, now. But... Yeah, so, like, I guess it kind of, like... And now I'm, like, fully into cars now, like, you know... I, I like to, it's kind of, I, I feel the same way about computers as I do with cars. I like to say I know a lot about cars or computers when I really don't, you know? I mean, to my dad it might sound that way, maybe. Um, see, like, I was talking about the Toyota Corolla, the 86, and he's like, Oh, do they have my car in this? I had an 82 Corolla. I was like, no, Dad, the Corolla GTS in America. I was like, yeah. He's like, no, you're thinking of something else, Dad. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, I've gone to, like, all these different car shows and stuff, but I really, like, reason why I bought the Civic was I wanted to be, I, I, I guess, not only did I want to have a car that I could call my own, I mean, yeah, I have my truck, but, you know, my dad's like, you know, it doesn't suck, son, it's actually a really good car, it's like, I mean, it's a utility vehicle. It's not really meant to do anything outside of, you know, utility stuff. I mean, if I showed him our shot review for the Ford Ranger, he might change his mind. Like, the, the Ford Ranger is basically designed to be a throwaway vehicle. Like any American truck, basically. <laughs> That's why I would love to have a nice little Japanese truck, like a Nissan hard body. But that ain't gonna happen, because those little hard bodies are... It, it, like when you see one, you gotta get one quick because they're they're rare as heck nowadays. I mean, my dad was lucky enough to have the one he got from my grandfather. So, all right, let's see what race. So let's see what is left special events. We got front, rear, and four wheel drive. I'm gonna try to front uh, front engine, rear wheel drive cars. So I'm actually gonna set my game first, actually. Okay. All right. So, um, front rear. All right. Let's go find a car. Let's go check out Nissan. Use cars. Let's see here. One in the SX Type X. Now, what's funny is the used Type X does not have the big spoiler like the um, like the uh, the new one. Maybe because it's an older model. I'm not sure. But yeah, like both the older 94 Type Xs do not have the big spoiler. Which actually, I. I don't mind it without the big I don't actually don't mind it. I would love to see I would I've, I've never seen a game that has the the uh, the coupe 240SX. It's always been the hatchback. I would love to see the coupe S uh, 240SX but which is basically just S13 with pop-ups. It's basically the same chassis, so. Um, let me try. Actually I want to con a quick action. I forgot, they didn't, they didn't have the S2000. Yeah, S2000 didn't come out until 90... 99? So this is like 97 when the game came out, so... Alright, let's just say they have a three-door, red three-door SI. No. No. Yes! 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 Shingo Mobile! Shingo Mobile! Finally! I've been waiting forever for a red SI, coo SI hatchback to show up in the used car lot. God damn. Ugh. Now I can be Shingo for real. <laughs> I gotta save my game so I won't forget this. God dang. Alright, um, I'm sorry. I just, I, like, I've been trying to get my hands on a red 
last uh, three door hatch like like Shingo's. I know they can't change the rims on it, but I don't care. I got the three door hatch. Now I can be Shingo for real. So that's all I care about. <laughs> all right, so well, well, that's out of the way. Um, uh, let's see. Used car. Let's check Toyota. So we got the JZ and the MA to Super. Let's see, twin turbo. I could get a. I could get an older Supra, which 300, 2,250 pounds. <laughs> the new Supra is 3,284 pounds. And it's, see, the last time I tried getting this in the video, I thought it was recording, it was green, which I wouldn't mind this one in white. But when it's 30, the thing is, though, the one I had in green was 26,000. This is 31,000. I'm like, eh. I do have the Chaser LM Edition car, which has a 200 horsepower, but I want an excuse to get a new car, so... Um, I could get the Soar, which is basically just a... Heavier... Wait, is it heavier? Yeah, heavier ver heavier, heavier Super. I think... The, now, this has the, um... Uh, 1JZ, I think. I think it does, yeah. Right? I don't know. No, I never quite got why Japan agreed on 276 horsepower, no high. Like, why do they agree on that? I, I never understood that. Let's try a Subaru doesn't have a new wheel drive car, do they? Um, no, of course not. It's all four wheel drive. Let's try a Mazda. Let's try used. I could get an FC. I already think I had an FC, but. I want to get an FC3 in white, like, uh, like, um, Ryosuke. What the heck is this? ECCS. What does that mean? They got all these different names for all these cars. FC, GTX, Cosmo. Here we go. Uh, 261 horsepower. All right, you know, I um, I kind of want to upgrade my Civic, but I will check the new cars while I'm here. I might just end it here pretty soon. Let me just check the uh, how long has this been going on for? 28 minutes. Okay, I can. All right. Um, I will go and buy a now I'm gonna go ask the Nissan new car um S14 is 216 yeah. wait don't they have the older uh they had two variants they had the older um like s flat headlights and then the newer angry headlights version I prefer the flat one I don't know, the angry headlights just looks too angry to me. But here it is, is it? Yeah, that's the one. That's that's the uh the that's the before the facelift. Um I don't even know if they call it anything different from the other I could be a GTS too. Yeah. GTS twenty five. I bought one of these in my first car in GT two. Uh, I wish you gave it a bigger wing though. Let's see, GTS T. 212. I was gonna check on the weight too though. There we go. We can still the case. Um mm. I remember they had like R3 three GTSs in, in uh in um hmm. This one actually is good. Hmm. Nah. All right. I know I'll get. I will. I think I will. I'll just go with my LM race car. I tried it in the last one. I thought I was recording, but I uh, kind of flubbed it up. But I'm gonna try again. Hopefully, I don't flub it up. Oh, what am I doing? Um. I'm not gonna upgrade it. I think it's not enough power as it is, so. 
Front rear challenge. Let's do this, boys. So yeah, if you guys like this, if you want me to keep doing this kind of thing, I can I can try to cut it down next time. Um, but I prefer with game like these to kind of like just just let it go to its course. So, um, let's see. Eventually, when I get a better capture card, I want to do like my PS3 and stuff too. But until then, because like this one, I guess it doesn't really matter with this crappy capture card because it's the PS2, PS1 games. Is that an 8 6? Well, I know I'm gonna win because it's so sick. It's, it's his Takumi's twin brother. Except he drives like an opposite colored in six. Yeah, look at these guys. They don't even know what they're. They're, they're like, damn, this guy's fast. Oh god. Oh jeez. Nope. Oh man. This thing is too. Holy crap! This thing is fast. This thing is fast. I hope I don't have like crash or anything and spin out, which would be terrible. Oh, and speaking of it spinning out, um, I think I can still make it. I got enough speed behind me. Come on, come on! I, I took that corner way too fast. I can still catch up though. I think I got a whole other lap anyway. So, ah, out of my way, Takumi! This is for real race car drivers. <laughs> Oh shit. Sorry about that. I love how there's like no negative consequences of hitting somebody's car. You just like, you just bump you and then that's it. Hey, I'm back. Now, don't spin out again this time. I gotta just gently apply the brakes. Because I don't want to spin out. I would love to do a, like a little play thing, a little flex play thing of Enthusia. Enthusia is probably one of my favorite racing games because of the variety of cars you can drive in it. Like, you can drive, like, I did one video covers about an Astro Van. You can have an Astro Van. You can, oh no, I'll spin out again, I'll spin out again, I'll spin out again. You can drive a, uh, like, they got, like, all kinds of, like, these weird, like, minivans and stuff that, like, I never even heard of, like, like, like the, uh, Alphard or whatever. Or, you know, you can drive, uh, they had a Toyota Corolla, like an, a, a, a regular, like a regular Econo box Toyota Corolla from like 2000, like you know, like not like the GTS. I mean, they had the 86, but they had just a standard Econo box, just four-door Corolla. I mean, they had one in GT4, but it was like more of a performance model, though I think. So, all right, that was cool. That was good. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That's pretty good. Now I only got, I think I only got two more races to go, and that should be good. All right. Wow. The eleven was. Oh, it was eleven, not a. I was. I thought it was a. I thought it was a. Um. Know. So it's it's Suki's twin brother, but instead he has an actual. He has it's about an eight five. Um, another game I like, but I can't seem to get the hang of is uh, Tokyo Shi Major Drift too. I know what hell, what heck, of a, what heck of a name for that, a game like that, but um, I I remember when I first played it, I bought an 8.5 because it was the cheapest car you could buy. Um, <laughs> I'm not doing qualifying. Qualifying is for for squares. I am confident enough, and plus it's G4s basically. I, I got I got 100% chance of winning. It's G4s, man. I rule a deep force basically, dude. I know for a fact I am going to smoke they asses. Smoke them like a cigar. As, as I crash into a wall at 15, like 500 miles an hour and die. I mean, if this were real racing, I would have been dead by now. So I would have crashed through a wall at incredibly high speed and died. But guess what? This isn't Forza. You can just crash into a wall and nothing happens. I mean, granted, there was, a, of course, even if they tried to add crashing into this game, the limitations of the console at the time were probably wouldn't allow it, so. That's probably the reason, but, I mean, they add, they started to add, like, actual damage 
damage to like to later games like GT6 and stuff like that. But um, like even hit your car at times, you do damage stuff or whatever. But it's not like Forza. Forza like actual parts of your car just fall off. Like you can hit somebody. Oh god no. Oh my nope nope oh Jesus oh god oh um, I can't stop it. I can I can still make it. Hang on. Hang on. Alright. Okay. I can still make it. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Oh, God. Come on, man. Come on, man. Beat these fools. Show them who's boss. Yeah, baby. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't spin out. Don't spin out. Don't spin out. Don't spin out. No, 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 no. Ah. Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck that. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, fam. <laughs> Alright. I, I tried. See, like, usually it takes me, like, several tries to get a certain championship, right? I have to, like, familiarize myself with the- familiarize myself with the car. As for the tracks, as- if it's- as long as it's not Route 11, special stage, I'm good. But, so, like, for this one, I did... So, Route 11, I hated that track. It's, like, goes this way and that way and just... I, I'm, I've, that was the, this just like this this challenge here was the first time I ever driven through uh, Route 11 special stage. I got my ass whooped, <laughs> but I made it still. I somehow made it and finished the race. So, all right. Well, I think it's time to save, and I think we'll uh, perhaps continue later on. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure uh, to smash that like button and uh, leave a comment. What game would you like to play next? Oh, there's going to be some limitations about what games I can play, but uh, I will try to make it happen. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye.